chapter 59. This morning, text number 43 and 45. Can I have a single copy? Okay. Yeah. Forty-four. Forty-three. Forty-four. Forty-three. Beginning forty-three. Okay. Grehe Yatarka Krin Griheshu Tasam Anapaya Tarka Krin Griheshu Samyati Shaish Babastita Nirasta Samyati Saishu Saish Vavastita Rame Rama Beer Nijakama Sam Pluto Pluto, Yatetaro God, God Haka, Medicum Saram, Yatetaro God Haka, Medicum Saram, Greheshu tasam anapayataka krin. Greheshu tasam anapayataka krin. Nirasta samyati saishva vastita. Rame rama bir nijakama sampluto. Yatetaro gar haka medicum charan. Yatetaro gar haka medicum charan. Grehe shutasam anapayat yatarna krin. Grehe shutasam anapayatarna krin. Nirasta Samyati Saishva Vastita Nirasta Samyati Saishva Vastita Rame Rama Bir Nijakama Sam Pluto Rame Rama Bir Yatetaro gar haka medicum charan. Greheshu tasam anapayataka krin. Greheshu tasam anapayataka krin. Nirasta sam yuk samyati saish. Vastita Rame Rama Bir Nijakama Sam Pluto Yatetaro Gar Haka Medicum Charan Thank you. 
Although fully satisfied within himself, he enjoyed with his pleasing wives. And like an ordinary husband, he carried out his household duties. 这些宫殿是任何其他居所难以比喻，不可超越的。尽管他完全自我满足，仍在那里同他的人与快啲妻子们享乐，并在各普通的丈夫那样，你和他家居的职责。The word atarkakrit is significant here. Tarka means logic, and atarka means that which is beyond logic. The Lord can perform krit, krit, that which is beyond mundane logic and hence inconceivable. Still the Lord's activities can be appreciated and understood to a significant extent by those who surrender unto Him. This is the secret of bhakti, loving devotion to the Supreme Lord. Srila Sridhar Swami comments, that the Lord was always at home except for when he had to go out to do ordinary household duties. And Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur points out that since in the Vaikuntha planets Lord Narayan enjoys with only one goddess of fortune and in Dwarka Krishna enjoys with thousands of queens Dwarka must be considered superior to Vaikuntha. In this regard, Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti also quotes the following passage from the Skanda Purana. Soda Saiva Sahasrani Gopya Statra Samagata Hamsa Eva Mata Krishna Paramatma Janardana Tashaita Sarkayo Devi Jagasaiva Prakirtita Chandra Rupi Mata Krishna Kala Rupas Tuta Smita Sampurna Mandala Kasham Malini Sodashi Kala Sodash Sodas Aiva Kala Yashu Gopi Rupa Varang Gane Aikashas Ta Sambina Sahasrena Pritak Pritak. At that place, sixteen thousand gopis were assembled with Krishna, who is considered the Supreme, the Super Soul the shelter of all living beings. These gopis are his renowned 16 potencies. O Goddess, Krishna is like the moon. The gopis are like its spaces. And the full contingent of gopis is like the full sequence of the moon's 16 phases. Each of these 16 divisions of gopis, my dear, Varangana is subdivided into 1,000 parts. Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur further quotes the Kartika Mahatmya section of the Padma Purana. Kaishore Gopakanya Sta Yovane Raja Kanyaka. Those who were the daughters of cowherds in their early youth became the royal princesses in their maturity. The Acharya adds, therefore, just as the Lord of Dwarka is a plenary expansion of the supreme complete Lord of Sri Vrindavan, so his principal queens are full expansions of his supremely complete pleasure potencies, the Gopis. Yuji 
，佢被相當程度咁嘅理解，這就是八字，對至尊主滿懷愛意嘅奉獻之誠嘅秘密。舒拉花面平述講，主除咗必須從出外從事普通嘅居家職責，總是在家。而 w i s h a r t a c h a k a t a k u 正指出，因為喺外觀及星球與那拉人係同一位向外女神享受，而喺 Duraka 必須係同千萬位皇后享受，所以 Duraka 一定係被尊為優於外觀的。有關呢一點 w i s h a r t a c h a k u 喺呢個 Skanda Purana 引述咗以下呢個段落：喺八個地方，一萬六千位高皮們被認為係至尊主超靈。以生物體託被所嘅 p r i s h n 聚集喺一齊，一起。按女神，這些高片是他著名嘅十六種能量 p r i s h n 就像月亮，高片就像月亮的上位。高片們完整嘅全體就像是月亮十六位上位嘅完整次序。高片的十六個劃分嘅每一項，我親愛嘅 w a r a n d a 被再分為一千個部。Shri Vishwanath Chakrabarti 同佢係進一步引述咗《Padma Purana》裏邊 Kadika Mahatmya 部分係咁講 ：Kasari Gopa Kanyata Yavini Raja Kanyaka。嗰啲年青年年青春年少嘅牧人嘅女兒，即係高片，係佢哋成熟期變成咗高貴嘅公主。然之後喺阿差人再補充話。因此，就像 Duraka 嘅主係輸 v i n g a v a n 至尊完整嘅主嘅全權擴展，佢嘅主要皇后就係至尊完整嘅喜樂能量，高變門嘅全權擴展。Chakaupatarupyasya kripa sindhu vaibhacha patitanam pavanidyo vaishnavidyo namo namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare. So there are some th important points to be understood from this report. One point which is brought to our attention. Is that Dwarka is superior to Vaikuntha? And the reason was given that in Vaikuntha, Lord Narayan enjoys with only one consort. But in Dwarka, Krishna has many queens. Somebody, these two ladies don't know. Can't believe. She, she just translate the point. Huh? Jessica. Jessica's translating. So, uh, so. We should understand from this that there is some hierarchy in the spiritual world. People like to think, oh, everything is one, everybody is equal. Yeah, in some ways we're equal, but there's also differences. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given the philosophy of chintya beda beda tattva, inconceivably simultaneously one and different. So there are differences. Uh, just as there is Vaikuntha, 
and the Dwarka, above Dwarka, there is also, the, in, in, there's, above Dwarka, there is Mathura. And above Mathura, there is Vrindavan. It said Krishna is perfect in Dwarka. But he's more perfect in Mathura. And he's, most, and he's most perfect in Vrindavan. There are differences, different relations. And of course, Vaikuntha, people also think Vaikuntha is a, you know, the, the Supreme Board, the Lord. And I, before Dwarka, between Vaikuntha and Dwarka, there is also Ayodhya. And, and in Goloka, there is also Mayapur, there is also Navadweep, Lord Chaitanya is also performing. And of course, some people, they don't even make it to Vaikuntha, they only enter into the Brahma Jyoti. And they're just in the Brahman doing nothing. So we want to understand that there are some differences here. But whatever position one is in, one, of course it's perfection. One would, would be very happy to go to Ayurveda. Be very happy to go to Dwarka or to go to Mathura or go to Vaikuntha. But the supreme abode of the Lord is Praja and Vrindavan. The difference between these places is in the different rasas which the Lord enjoys. In Vaikuntha, it's all Dasharas. Mm, everyone's a servant, the middle of being a servant. Mm, but as you go, when you come to Ayodhya, you see in Ayodhya, then the Lord Rama is there, and this is a specific mood of being the servant. Yeah, there is some distinction between the worship of Lord Ram and the worship of Lord Narayan. Generally, we see the Sri Vaishnavas, the followers of Brahmanuja, they like to worship Lord Ramachandra. Lord Ramachandra is the king, he is worshipped with great awe and reverence and respect. Mm -hmm. But sometimes he does embrace his devotees. Mm -hmm. Just like sometimes he would embrace Hanuman. Mm -hmm. Some special relationship. And then the Lord in Dwarka, we see the Lord in Dwarka, he has his wonderful queens. So we're hearing about these queens, that uh, these queens are expansions of the gopis. There were 16, there are six, there are thousand, 16,000 or more gopis in Vrindavan. And these gopis expanded themselves as these queens who became the wives of Lord Krishna. And, Lord, and it is described how Lord Krishna <coughs> is inconceivable, he's beyond all logic. Sometimes when we try to tell, try to explain to people about Lord Krishna, they would say, oh, this is not logical. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, they're right. It's not logical. Krishna is beyond logic. You cannot understand Krishna just by only logic. Because, because Krishna is beyond all the powers of what can be conceived by the mind and senses. The mind and senses are all always limited in whatever they can understand. But Krishna is beyond all of that. And here we, we're, we're hearing how Lord Krishna marries all these women and people will think, oh, he's another lusty guy, you see, just like these kings, they want to enjoy all these women. But it's mentioned, it's mentioned here that Lord Krishna is always fully satisfied in himself. Krishna is the, he, just like the self-realized souls, they're fully satisfied in themselves, they're Atmarama. So the Krishna Krishna is satisfied also in himself. He doesn't need anything from him. But he accepted all of these um, young girls who were the prisoners of Narak, he accepted them all as his wife. And he performed his householder duties just like it appears, just like an ordinary man. Just like when a man has a wife, then he has duties to please the wife, to set, take care of the wife and look after the family. So, Lord Krishna was doing all of these things. He was, all, he was enjoying with his wife. But this, this was just his pastime. This is his leela. He didn't have to do this. It's not, it's not that he needs to have this in so Because he's fully satisfied in himself. But for the pleasure of his devotees, he allows all because these 16,000 young women were prisoners and they were they, they, they had been taken away from their homes they had nowhere to go so Lord Krishna accepted all of them as his wife and we are giving evidence from other scriptures to explain that these gopis are all, that these wives of Krishna are all expansions of the gopis. It's explained, Lord Krishna is like the moon. And the gopis are compared to the different phases of the moon. And it's described there are 16 different uh, phases of the moon. But when you study the, the, mo the movements of the moon, the, the, the covering how the moon waxes and wanes, and it becomes a dark moon and then a bright moon, it, there's 16 different divisions. So in the same way there were 16,000 gopis or 16,000 queens. And each division, each of the 16 divisions of the moon, they were equal to 1,000. So in each section there's one thousand parts. 
And so this is where the six value or sixteen thousand gold pieces. And all of these gopis became queens in Dwarka and became Krishna's wife. So just like Krishna expands himself from Vrindavan, that Krishna who is the Lord of Vrindavan becomes the Lord of Dwarka. And one of Krishna's qualities is he's never alone. So when he went to Dwarka, he came there along with all of his different parts and parcels. His queens are all the expansions of his supreme pleasure potency. His pleasure potency are, is in the form of the gopis. And the head of all the gopis is Srimati Radharani. So Srimati Radharani, she is the original pleasure potency. And she expands herself as all of these gopis, 16,000 gopis. And these 16,000 gopis, these 16,000 gopis then expand themselves, they become the queens in Dwarka. So all of the, Krishna had all of these queens, this is his different potencies. The ordinary people, they cannot understand these activities of Lord Krishna. Because they think Krishna is an ordinary person. As Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Abhajananti Mamudha Manushin Tanamashritam Parambhava Majananto Mama Bhutta Maheshwaram. The foolish mock at me, descending amongst them like a human being. They do not know my transcendental nature and supreme dominion over all that be. So we are hearing from the 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. The 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam is like the face of Krishna. Before you look on the face of Lord Krishna, you first look at his lotus feet. The lotus, the lotus feet of Krishna are the first two cantos of Srimad Bhagavatam. We want to understand Krishna, first we have to understand from the beginning. If we just hear about Krishna marrying 16,000 queens, we'll, we won't understand, we'll misunderstand all of his pastimes. We'll envy Krishna, we'll think, ah, why he should have so many queens? We all have envy, we're all envious of Krishna anyway, so when we hear about Krishna performing these pastimes, we a devotee is happy when he sees Krishna enjoy. A devotee's goal in life is to give happiness to Krishna. The Bhakti wants to see the Lord enjoying with his different spiritual potencies. So, but, so before we hear about all of these different pastimes of Lord Krishna, it's important for us to hear the basic philosophy. 
咁所以喺我哋平慶非常呢啲咁嘅思維時光之前，我哋首先理解平慶關於佢嘅哲學。If we don't understand that we're not the body, we'll never understand who is Krishna. Because we're in the bodily consciousness of life, so we think Krishna is also the body. And because, because we take birth and grow old and get disease and die, we think Krishna also must have this misery. Some people when they ask asked when they're asked to make a representation of God, they describe God as being an old man with a beard. They think because he's been here a long time, he must be very old. They don't understand Krishna has a transcendental body. So that's why these pastimes of Lord Krishna, they come only in the 10th canto Srimad before we try to understand Krishna's Leela, we have to understand how he does things like creation. When we hear about how the Lord creates the material world, then we can understand he's not an ordinary being. When we hear of Krishna's different incarnations in so many different forms in different places, then we can understand this very When we hear Krishna's teaching from the Bhagavad Gita, then we become impressed and we understand he is the supreme truth. But if we just try to hear of Krishna's pastimes with the gopis and with his queens and what we will we will not understand. It. We don't know clearly the nature of matter and spirit. We won't understand. Therefore, in the Vedanta Sutra it begins by saying Atato Brahmajignasa, that now you have the human form, you have to understand what is spirit. If we want to understand what is spirit, what is spiritual energy, we have to we have to uh, we have to hear about it, we have to hear the basic knowledge from the spirit. Very, very important for people to hear carefully and systematically. Sometimes people they just rush to the tenth canto Srimad Bhagavatam. And they take pleasure in talking about the gopis. Oh, they're very happy to discuss all the gopi leela. But so many things they have not done to actually understand who are these gopis. So we're hearing in this section. We're hearing that when Lord Krishna comes, these gopis they also come. Just like this scribe, when Krishna was going to come to this, going to appear in this world, he was telling Srimati Radharani, I'm going to go there to the material world. And he asked Radharani that you should also come. 
So she said, well, I'll come, but I, I can't go without Gobind and Hill. I'm not going to go if Gobind and Hill's not going. And I want also Yamuna should also come. And I want also forest to bring down, Tothi. They're my friends, Gobardan Hill, Tosi, Nirmuna. But Krishna said, okay, well, they can also come. So these are great. These wonderful spiritual uh, features, they are all coming for the pleasure of Krishna. And we hear the gopis gave Krishna pleasure when he was a young boy in Vrindavan. And when he grew up and went to Dwarka, those gopis came there as his queens. And they gave pleasure to Krishna. These ladies were very pleasing wives. Right. And they would please Krishna and Krishna would smile at them and in this way they would feel affection for each other. And Krishna would perform all the duties of the children with all the queens. Every one different wife had ten children. So there were so many people living there in Dwarka. Krishna was arranging for everyone. So it's all inconceivable. We have to understand that this, uh, this is describing the inconceivable potency of Krishna. And we have to accept, therefore, in the beginning that Krishna has his inconceivable power. Right. He's holding the planets in space. How does he do it? How all these planets are being held in space? By his inconceivable power. We ask everyone, try to understand, some, try to understand this inconceivable potency. How can you understand what is inconceivable? We can't understand it. If we could understand it, then it wouldn't be inconceivable. <laughs> so we have to accept that there are such things as And how, what can we do then? We can simply hear about it. So hearing is a big when we hear carefully, then gradually we will come to see and to understand. Okay, any questions? All the perfect little expansions of the gopis are in love and down, 16,000 things. But nevertheless, the gopis were tremendously missing the presence of Lord Krishna a lot. And he also was missing them. I mean, this is truly again inconceivable. How can something like this happen? I mean, if they were with him yet, but they were missing him too much. Yeah. 
思念佢嘅，好懷念，好想念佢。點解好似咁矛盾？點真係不可思議。Yeah, we also say Krishna never leaves Vrindavan. He never really left Vrindavan. He hid himself in the hearts of the gopis. So, yes, yeah. They feel separation. They feel separation because that increases the loving relation. Every day you see the person, then you don't appreciate them. But when there's separation, then do you feel more attachment? So in order to increase the loving affection between himself and the gopis, that feeling of separation is there. So the and the feeling of separation then leads to union. But again, they meet. There's meeting. There's union. Krishna meets. Yes, there's there's many many gopis, but there's sixteen thousand prominent among sixteen thousand, and there's sixteen who are very prominent. Sixteen thousand. Yes, yes, and just like we were hearing about how Krishna has got eight wives. Eight. And so these eight wives are more principal than the 16,000. But still Krishna has a palace for each of them and he spends time and enjoys pastimes with each and every one of them. But There'll be still there's some appreciation for one over another. There's always, there's always some competition between Rukmini and Satyabama. And the competition, who can give the most pleasure to? They're competing to please Krishna. Just like we also compete. Different, sometimes the devotees compete to distribute votes. Compete to cook the peace to different ways of competing, trying to please Krishna. Because Krishna is a person. He has feelings. And he appreciates and service render. When people render service to him, then Krishna appreciates. And when he sees someone take great efforts to please him, then it's especially pleasing. So all these queens of Dwarka, they were all uh, they were all wonderful devotees. They all have the mood to be a servant. To give pleasure to Krishna. 
No, it's pleasure, friend, because Krishna takes pleasure in pleasing his devotees. Just like sometimes a husband will do some please buy something for the wife, you know. It's for the wife, but the husband's pleased that you know I'm buying this. The husband takes pleasure. Is for Krishna yeah, the, the spiritual world, yeah. uh, pastimes in the spiritual world are all for the pleasure of Krishna. Krishna. But, He's asking about what about the material world? Woman, the hold on. So, but well, we, we don't say Krishna likes us to be in this suffering in the material. Krishna, Krishna wants to bring us back to the spiritual world. And that's why he sends his devotees and that's why he comes here himself to tr preach and to show us how to go back. He knows we're suffering here in this world. He's trying to help us to get out of this place. But we're so stupid, we're so dumb, we, we, we get attached to the mundane, to the material. You know, just like Indra became the pig, and then when they said, come back, they said, no, I like it here. <laughs> so we're thinking, I have my home, I have my family, I don't want to leave. <laughs> when even Tukaram, the airplane came to take Tukaram back to Godhead, and he told his wife, come, come. She said, no, no, I want to stay here with our family. So we're, we're very attached because of the ignorance. And we try to stay here in this world. We think this is our home. When Krishna comes, he comes to teach us, he speaks the Bhagavad Gita, he sends his pure devotees. Well, material world, it's Krishna's backside. 
或者世界係非常嘅背面。Right? The front side and the back side. 都係 Krishna 嘅，但係係 Krishna 嘅背面。Everything is Krishna's pastime. The material world is also Krishna's pastime. 所有都係 Krishna 嘅，消除光，但係或者世界消除光係 Krishna 嘅背面。就是 no one likes the back side. 
Well, of course, is there some difference? He's asking, is there some difference between the material and the spiritual world? Of course, in the material world, there's huh, the, the difference is in the spiritual world, everybody's a pure devotee. Everything has, every, every living entity has full consciousness. The animals and the plants and the trees, they're all pure and they're all in full, in full, full consciousness. But in this material world, you get the body of a tree, you have covered consciousness. But in the spiritual world, the trees all have the same consciousness as the people. They all have the same consciousness. They're all servants of Krishna. It reminds me of the past time when Lord Krishna, when he's tired, he would lie down on the tree, rest his back on the tree. So the tree is so very happy. The trees are all there to get pleasure. And the birds, they're all singing for Krishna. And the flowers are all blooming for Krishna. And the rivers flowing for Krishna's pleasure. And the wind is blowing in the different seasons that are all there for the pleasure of Krishna. Okay, Srimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai Srimad Prabhupada Ki Jai